Hello and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be adding the Santa outfit to the Grinch. Now believe it or not, this is actually the same green on from the same filament. And uh, if you want to know what uh, kind I got it, there's a link in the video description below. And let's get started. This is actually not going to be that difficult. Let's go ahead and just start with this Grinch and let's see where it takes us. First thing I did was not create an outfit. I just got rid of the pieces that didn't make his outfit. So I got rid of this hair fur thing that we have here and here. Turned these red, obviously. That's most of it right there, right? This one also. That part's easy. Let's get rid of his hairy chest. All right. Now the whatever that is, cotton around the waist. We're going to go with a regular sphere, so basic shapes and a sphere. So let's go ahead, maximize the steps, color it white, and I'm going to duplicate and move, duplicate and move, duplicate. Yeah, pretty basic stuff. I think most of you could have figured this out on your own. And I'm just going to move these things around here, try to make a circular type deal. Obviously, they're not going to be this big. And I'm just going to move around. The thing is, you don't want them to be perfectly aligned or you don't want really any pattern here. Otherwise, it just throws off the illusion because in the book, I believe he just makes an outfit. If not the book, then in the movie. And when he makes it, it doesn't come out very good. All right, so that's good enough for now. So let me just select this. And I accidentally selected this one here. Let's move that out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna group these things, Control G. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this. Oh, let's go over here to this one over here. Move it up to his waist, and then I'm gonna shrink it. I'm gonna hit Shift and hold the Shift button, and then move this down around his waist, pretty easy, right? Move, use the arrow keys. Now that looks just about right. However, it looks too big, so I'm gonna hit shift. Now I'm not gonna give you any numbers here because yours is gonna look slightly different, hopefully, because I'm not giving you any exact numbers to work here. So here's what I'm gonna do though. I'm gonna undo the group and I'm gonna manipulate them one at a time. First of all, his hand should not go through this, at least not completely. So I'm going to move it around with the keys. There you go. What happened to his finger? I don't know what happened to his finger. That's weird. Let me see if I can duplicate that and move it over a little bit. I'll just drag it over. There you go. I don't know how that happened. I, I assure you, he had a finger last time I was working with him. And this side, I'm gonna move this over here, so that's fine right there. I'm gonna duplicate this one and then move it closer here, so it looks like it's under his hand a little at least. I'm gonna change my snap grid to 0.25. Right there, that looks good. Move that one in a little bit and this one back. All right, a little uniform, great. So. That's the bottom part. I'm pretty much going to do the same thing for the next one. Let's just do that pretty quickly here again, change it to white. And I'm telling you right now, the hardest part was actually his hat. Yeah, you'll see why in a little bit. I it took me about, I guessing about 10 minutes to get that right. So duplicate, move, duplicate, move, duplicate, move. You get it. Might even just speed up this part so you guys can make your own. All right, that's not too bad. There you go. I don't know why I did that. I should be moving the one I just had selected. Makes more sense. All right, I think that's enough. It's circular-ish. So I'm gonna group them, control G. Now let's move it over here and move this up. Now, if you don't remember making the Grinch, what we did last time for the arms is that we put them at a 45 degree angle. So we're gonna do the same exact thing after we shrink these things a little bit. Let's see. 
we're going to turn this 45 degrees. We'll move it down. <laughs> That's why you always check. Okay, right about there. I'm going to click F to zoom in. And let's see what this looks like. That is not bad. In fact, I'm going to duplicate this. You click on the letter M. Point it in that direction because that's the direction I want. And then I'm going to hit Shift and the arrow key to move it over here without having to drag it with my mouse. I like it. All right. Mm, let's see. Tell you what. Let's duplicate that one. Move it up. Rotate it back and enlarge it. I'm going to hit shift and then this one here and then move it around his neck area. Move it up. Now, if you remember correctly, we, well, I do not like supports. And if you were to print it this way, you would need supports right here. So I'm going to ungroup this. And what I'm going to do is I want you to look carefully. You see at the center of the sphere, you see a little tiny circle. Those circles should not be exposed because that means that you would need a support. So I'm just going to hide each one of these. You see how I can't see the center anymore. However, now it looks like a necklace. So I'm going to move some of these down. And maybe back a little bit. I'm going to duplicate this one and then drag it over and drag it up. Whoa, that was pretty far. Duplicate and move around. And move back. Same thing with the back. You do not want the center of the sphere to be exposed. Let me move it a little bit lower. And again, you're going to... Yours is not going to look the same as mine, but the idea is the same. If you don't want any supports, you got to hide the centers of these spheres. And I'm going to drag them down a little bit. That way they're covering. Now, when you drag them down, you might expose the center. So you got to be careful with that. It's very important that you uh, check it from multiple angles once you're done working on it because it's a three dimensional object. And you should know what these each look like. All right. Now, of course, if you want to add more, that's up to you. However you want to do it. I'm going to add more to the shoulder. I'm going to click the letter F so I can zoom in. And there. All right. Not bad. And, of course, to save time, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to hit Control D. Move that up. Or, uh, rotate this 45 and, oops, shrunk it. Let's make the hat uh, too small. So I'm going to hit shift. Well, let's get rid of that right there. I'm going to hit and hold shift. Move it up a little bit. Move that down. Wow, that needs to be bigger. All right. Now, why, mind you, let's look. Are the centers exposed? Yes, they are. So I'm going to... I'm just going to shrink them a little bit. Uh, see, the centers are not that exposed here, so I'm going to use the arrow key to move them over. That way, these will be covered. Ah, perfect. Okay, so now for the hat. The hard part of this thing is the hat. So we're going to use a comb. Drag it up. I'm going to make it red. All right, so the hat right around there move it up a little bit okay now i'm going to hit shift and move it shrink it down all right not perfect so i'm just going to mind you the hat does not have to be perfect or a perfectly ratioed hat you can have it bigger on one side than the other in fact i believe I'm going to rotate this a little bit, just a little bit. You know, give it a little bit of an attitude. There you go. Now, for this part, this is actually the part that made me cry when I did it myself. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to rotate it. Uh, 
I'm going to rotate it some more. Right about there. This is what I want. I want to put a, a little sphere here. So I want the sphere to actually be around here. That way it doesn't need any supports. The cheek will be supporting it. And that's what I want there. Now this is not going to keep the same dimensions. I'm going to make it go just about here or the end of that hat. And here's the other part. You want to look at it from the side. Let's uh, zoom in here. All right, not zoom in. You want the width to be thinner than it first started. So I'm going to go from this side, drag it in this way, drag it in that way. All right. So that's, now mind you, this might not work and I'm going to do what I did for this one, but there's no guarantee it's going to look good. I know I've tried this like several times already and every time I had to adjust it afterwards. So I'm going to go to shape generators and I'm going to use this one called the extrusion. There it is, extrusion. And this extrusion gives me the property and the ability to adjust. So I'm going to go straight down and you see where these two lines are right here. I'm just going to move it just a little bit lower than those two. I'm going to make it a hole. Now I'm going to move it up. And then I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. I'm sorry, 45 degrees. And then I'm going to adjust it even more than that. So don't worry about it. I'm Okay, let's focus on this thing right here. I don't want to see this part of the triangle that's pointing that way. So... That's my goal here. I'm not sure if you see this, but my snap grid's at 0.25, which means I can make smaller adjustments than, hey, that's not bad. Um, I can make smaller adjustments than putting it at one, which is the standard one when you first open this program. Okay, that right there, I don't like, so I'm gonna use uh, command arrow down. There you go. I'm gonna look all around just to make sure that before I do this, it looks, I don't know, that might actually look good. Again, I'm looking right here. Okay, it's just going to be cut off and then turn over here. And let's look over here. Yeah, it's going to be cut off. So let's do it. Let's see what happens. I want to see it from the front, though. That's usually where you see this Grinch. And there you go. Let's see. Let's see if the magic happens. Control G. All right, that's not bad. This one's, I like this one better. So this one had this one here has a higher top, and I think I want that in a lower. Yeah. So I'm gonna undo that. Now again, I've done this several times, and each time I've had to adjust this part. So don't feel bad if this is uh, happening to you. It happens. Now I'm just gonna play with it and try to do the same thing. Oh, I know. I'm gonna move this one down a little bit. That's going to do that. So I'm going to stretch it up. Okay. See, what I want is this part right here. Because it also, you know, makes it look like it's coming down. I can already see that this is not going to look good. So I'm going to stretch this out. Because I want that look right there. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad either. All right, I'm going to group these two. Control G. I think that is acceptable to me. I'm going to, let's see if I can get one of these. Yeah. Control D, drag that up, move it over and down a little bit. I'm going to zoom in and hit shift and drag it up. Ooh, it's not even touching it. That's why you always look for more than one angle. Okay, now is this going to print without supports? Yes, it is. Look at that. We can't even see that. Perfect. I'm liking the hat. And there you go. We have now made our Grinch very Christmassy. And feel free to adjust these however you like. You know, it's up to you. And uh, thank you for liking and subscribing. And don't forget to share with your friends. And I hope you enjoy printing this one. Have a great day. Thank you.